Chevy Impalas of recent memory might well be the least visible cars on the road. After a long stint playing it safe, Chevrolet has decided to take some risks with its full-size icon. Sounds good, but does this riskier take do right by the Impala name? Maybe the best way to start is to nail down what people actually want from a large sedan. Obviously, comfort and roominess are top of mind, and on those counts, the Impala scores well. Aiding comfort are incredibly squishy armrests, a compliant suspension, an electric power steering system that minimizes driver workload by automatically accounting for crowned roads and crosswinds, and seats that, though they could be a little bit softer, are comfy enough for extended travels. Adding to all this pleasantness is an impressively quiet interior, made possible by acoustic front window and windshield glass, triple door seals, and active noise cancellation in four-cylinder models. As for roominess, the front positions actually are really spacious, but they seem especially so thanks to a visual trick of the dash design. It's kind of like that hallway at Willy Wonka's factory. In back, legroom is plentiful, but there's roughly half an inch less headroom than in the Impala's competitors. Spring for the delightfully open panoramic sunroof, and you'll probably forgive that missing half inch. As mentioned, the Chevy Impala rides nice, but it actually turns pretty well too. No, we don't have a bad sports sedan on our hands, but pushing hard on freeway on-ramps doesn't trigger the soul-sucking disappointment found in some soft sedans. Adding to the fun is an optional 3.6-liter V6. With 0 to 60 acceleration quicker than 6 seconds, the V6-equipped Impala merges with and passes traffic with gusto. It also manages nearly 30 mpg on the freeway. Drivers content with more subdued forward movement can stick with the totally adequate base four-cylinder, while those seeking exceptional fuel economy should consider the optional four-cylinder e-assist engine. Thanks to its minor electric boost, e-assist helps the Impala return reasonable acceleration along with an impressive 35 mpg on the highway. Regardless of engine, all Impalas feature a six-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. What about looks? Well, these are both Chevy Impalas, but as you can see, the newest version has a soul. A pronounced rear fender accent line, narrow projector beam headlights, and an ultra-long roof line terminating in a short rear deck lid give the newest Impala a definite personality. And just in case you thought style trumped usability, hidden under that stubby trunk lid is a substantial 18.8 .8 cubic feet of cargo space. Inside, streaks of blue light illuminate through the chrome trim at night, making the Impala smart transportation for Tron's daily commute to the game grid. Even with the lights on, the interior looks good. Stylish details like blue stitching complement more pragmatic design decisions like the large fonts and simple controls found on the center stack. Dominating the dash is an optional MyLink infotainment system. We really like MyLink's simplified presentation and big color-coded icons, but it would be nice if when you press those icons, there wasn't such a delayed reaction. Behind the 8-inch screen is a spot to store valuables or connect a media player. Using a 4-digit code, the screen can be locked in place and the personal information stored in MyLink made completely inaccessible. So relax, your precious contact list is totally safe from stalker valets. Even in cheapest form, the Chevy Impala comes equipped with 10 airbags, a 6-speaker audio system with USB input, and a 6-month subscription to GM's OnStar system. Buyers willing to part with more of their hard-earned money can add luxuries like a Bose surround sound audio system, keyless entry with push-button engine start, heated and ventilated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. And with options like adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation braking, forward collision alert, side blind zone alert, lane departure warning, rear cross traffic alert, and a backup camera with dynamic guidelines, it'll take a monumental effort to crash a fully loaded Impala. Undoubtedly, some of you will find a way. Alongside the Ford Taurus, the Chevy Impala starts at the low end of the full-size sedan pricing range, though we should mention that the Taurus's base V6 is more powerful than the Impala's base four-cylinder. Completely abandoned restraint, and it's possible to build a sweet, heavily equipped Impala that tops $40,000. When the time comes to sell or trade in, we expect the new Impala to maintain its value somewhat better than the Ford Taurus, but unsurprisingly, the Toyota Avalon remains the resale leader. 
despite handling better than expected, without a high-performance variant to battle the Ford Taurus Show or Dodge Charger SRT8, the Chevy Impala is best viewed as a value-oriented answer to the Toyota Avalon, which isn't a bad thing. Plenty of buyers choose large sedans specifically to enjoy leisurely, effortless travel. We're guessing a good portion of them wouldn't mind experiencing that travel in an efficient, technologically adept, and distinct-looking vehicle. Assuming that's the case, this could be an exciting chapter in the book of Impala.